Now to an ABC Action News exclusive. An internal investigation reveals miscommunication and confusion delayed an ambulance from getting to a downed runner at the Skyway 10K earlier this month by 22 minutes. And the runner ultimately died. Our Isabel Rosales uncovering a mix-up with the race markers, faulty maps, and lack of emergency lanes that really prevented help from getting to that runner. One of the biggest points of confusion outlined in this report is on the bridge itself. Ambulances responded to interstate mile marker five and not race marker five. It was a difference of two miles. On race day, runner Justin Doyle collapsed on the Skyway. 22 minutes later, first responders found him. It's death by a million paper cuts, essentially. How just a series of uh, missteps. ABC Action News exclusively obtained this internal investigation report. It details mass confusion and miscommunication leading to the delay. Rescue Chief Ian Womack of St. Pete Fire and Rescue says they are studying this report front to back. At St. Pete Fire and Rescue, we have four core values. Respect, accountability, trust, and empowerment. And this is about accountability. Among the key findings, 911 dispatch mistakenly sent out an ambulance that wasn't even on the bridge. Important location details coming from witness runners never made it back to crews on the ground. A mix up between race and interstate mile markers that had first responders searching four miles of the bridge before finally finding Doyle. Ambulances struggling to navigate through the crowds of 7,000 runners and well intentioned bystanders who put Doyle on a bus and moved him delaying medical help further. They will never forget this incident, not for the rest of their careers, the rest of their lives. We spoke with Doyle's brother shortly after the race. He's an incredibly proud guy. He wouldn't, you know, he, he would never give up. But he did say to me, you know, I'm struggling to get my legs going. Lee Doyle was not ready to speak on the report, but he hopes this never happens to anyone again. Womack vowing they'll rebuild their action plan from scratch. To ensure that uh, any of the obstacles that presented themselves here that were identified the PIA are, are just eliminated for next year. Rescue Chief Womack tells me as soon as organizers apply for a permit for the next Skyway 10K, they're going to go back to the drawing board and make those recommended changes. In St. Pete, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.